हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू दिस न्यू वीडियो एंड दिस इज़ द सेकंड वीडियो ऑफ द सीरीज ऑफ माय एमयू क्लास फोर जर्नी एंड यस द थंबनेल इज करेक्ट हाउ यू कैन क्लियर एमयू क्लास फोर फास्टेस्ट इन दिस वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज एक्चुअली इन टू पार्ट्स फर्स्ट इज हाउ यू कैन सेव वन मंथ और मोर देन वन मंथ बिफोर गिविंग द एग्जाम सेकेंड इज हाउ यू कैन स्केड्यूल योर एग्जाम लाइक विच ओवरऑल विच रिटर्न यू शुड अप्लाई फर्स्ट विच शुड अप्लाई नेक्स्ट वट आर द प्रोज एंड कॉन्स ऑफ दैट आई विल डिस्कस एवरी थिंग इन दिस वीडियो एंड दिस इज द सेकेंड वीडियो आफ्टर दैट आई विल अपलोड टू मोर वीडियोज वन इज हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर रिटर्न एंड हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर ओरल्स एंड विद दैट videos i will provide some links for the study material i will tell you which study material which are the notes you should refer so like very few notes if you study and you can clear and get the idea of everything so to explain like how to save one month let's take a example i will take three cases okay first person who let's say this is month of feb so this guy has completed his courses on 10th of feb this is the case number 1 and this case number 1 is giving his assessment before 15 he might be completed his uh, his courses before 15 like 12 or so 3 13 also but he managed somehow and give his assessment before 15 he applied his assessment okay second case the guy he has done his courses before 15 but he because of some uh, he don't have documents or something he was not able to apply in the same month so he will apply in the month of march and this the third guy third case he has completed his courses after 15th let's say 16th or 20th or 25th so now he is going to give his assessment in the month of march okay so how you can save one month so first let's take the case number 2 and 3 these cases have not able to give their assessment in the month of feb other guy has given his assessment in the month of feb so he is one month ahead of them okay because he given his assessment in the month of feb march he will book exam march he can give the exam but other guys they will give their assessment in march so they will go for exam in the april april end and but this guy has given in the march end okay case number 2 and case number 3 guy what they can do they should go on 1st of march for their assessment either first maximum second and third they should go give their assessment if they give in the starting 3 4 days what will happen the assessment will get approved in next 1 to 3 days and then they can book exam within the first 8 days but if you go after 4 after 5 or if you are going for 10 then you can just give assessment the date of booking the exam will be gone so you have to go for the next month but those who are going for initial days 1 2 or 3 or 4 they have to make sure one thing their old documents should have appropriate dates appropriate names if they found before going to uh, mmd if they found that any document have some uh, date is not matching in every document and if the propelling days are wrong or something they should contact their company they should tell them this this happened so they should mention that thing in your c service letter and they will make another c service letter and just send you photo of it on the mail and then you can take a print out and then with you when going for assessment you can give to the mmd and tell them this 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 happened so if your assessment got any problem you won't able to complete before it and you won't able to book the exam so this will this idea will get flop if any problem in your documents will come so make sure that before going for mmd okay second case the guy who has given on the 10th he applied his assessment in the month of feb so did he can get any benefit of it yes he can get what he can get because he has given his assessment before so now he has one and half month for preparing but other guys is getting this around 20 days for preparing for the exams so mostly i have seen those who are booking in the starting of the month and they are giving their returns in the end in the same month so mostly they are going for only three returns they are not going for orals but the other guy he can go for orals also but here also one trick uh, from my experience safety and electrical oral are the hardest because we are not too much in touch with the electrical and safety and naval those who are from marine background we are more into motor 
pumps engine room things this marpole solas and naval things we are not too much in touch okay so the guy who have one and half month for preparing he should go for safety naval electrical returns and safety and electrical orals in the first month and then in the second month he should go for motor mep general return and motor and mep orals so in the two month he can give one attempt and if he fail in the first safety let's say he failed in the safety orals or in the returns as well so he can go for the third month like second month he will get the result third month he can book and again he can give his second attempt in the third month and let's say in the motor also in the second month he failed in motor orals so again he can in the fourth month he can apply that and in the two attempts he can clear all the 10 exams so this is the fastest way possible for the guy who has completed on the 10th but the other guy who has given his assessment in the 1st of march he booked three returns so i will recommend if you are little bit into studying you should go for all five why you uh, you should go for all five because returns are not that much tough in the next video i will explain all the aspects of returns how you should prepare how you should give returns what are the uh, things you should remember before giving the exam i will tell you explain everything and what are the study material you should refer i will give provide that also in the next video the guy who is giving in the march month who have given his assessment in the starting so he should go for all five if he is bit into studying but if he is not taking that much burden he should go only for three returns and the next month he should go for all five safety electrical naval and their orals as well all five and then in the next month he should go for other orals or he can do vice versa also before he can give motor MEP and then he can go for safety and orals but for that guy there is one disadvantage of it because in the second month if he fails so he will give in the fourth month this motor MEP in the third month he is giving safety and electrical orals if he fails in the safety so he will get take one more month extra it will go up to five months so there is one disadvantage that's why you should go for more orals in the starting months so that if you fail so you can go for the third month and your second month if you fail you can go for four months so the maximum two attempts you can complete in four months but there is one disadvantage also but there is one cone also of doing so what is it if you are going for too much orals but you are not that much prepared of it and you get failed you get failed then in the second attempt the level of the questions are going to be higher definitely the level of the question will be higher as compared to the first attempt first attempt is the easiest for you to crack the orals so if you are going for orals if you are thinking like i will prepare for returns then i will uh, before some days i will go for orals if i get one oral only i will be happy then um, in the second attempt i will go for the other don't think like that prepare more about the orals don't prepare too much for the returns okay because if you fail in the return it is not that much headache because you can study in the second attempt and you will definitely clear that but if you failed in the orals in the first attempt you will go for second it is higher it is more harder now to clear it and if you fail again then in the third attempt it is more higher you understand you will feel more pressure on your head if you fail in orals if you fail in returns you won't feel any pressure so this is it for this video and uh, we will meet in the next video about returns and orals i hope you like the video if you like the video click on the like button subscribe the channel and share it with all your friends who is going for the mu class 4 who are your batchmates or who are sailing and just now got sign off everybody just share it and we will meet in the next one